while I was trying to figure it out, God already worked it out. While I was trying to figure it out, God already worked it out for me. Hallelujah. No weapon. There is no, no weapon formed against me. Uh, the battle is over before we even start if we have that attitude. I think we're going to do a part two on this next week. Amen. Amen. I don't want to keep you too long. Amen. Did I, did I give you enough to, to have and to hold on to? Amen. Amen. Give God some praise. Come on, come on give him praise. Come on, really give him praise. We have predestined victory. But in the midst of our victory, we got many battles to fight. What the enemy wants to do, he wants to. He wants to keep coming up against you so much that you stop fighting. And when you stop fighting, you become, you become a tool for him. Because he can maneuver you and get you to operate how he wants you to operate. If he can get you to walk in fear, he got you. Even though God has not given you the spirit of fear, He's giving you power. Somebody say power. power. He's giving you love. Somebody say love. love. Giving, somebody say sound mind. Sound mind. He gave you these things. So if you're born again, tap into the spirit. Everything you see, that person sitting next to you, don't just look at them by their name or what you see of them in the flesh. Realize that in you there's a spirit. And when we can start relating spirit to spirit, yes. and, 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 and I can encourage your spirit, and you can encourage yeah. my spirit. Yeah. Amen. And in spite of how I look on the outside, yeah. amen. in spite of the, the color of my skin, or the, the texture of my hair, or, or, or in spite of the kind of clothes that I have on, if I can look beyond all of that and see your spirit, amen, and realize that, hey, you're my sister, and I'm your brother. Yeah. And we're here for one another. Yeah. We can get beyond all of that. Yes. Then we can truly say we are walking in the Spirit. Amen. And you woke up this morning, it wasn't a long clock that woke you up. See, a spiritual minded person realizes that God yes. will When you get ready to eat your meal, hallelujah, and, and you don't you don't say because I worked hard, that's why I got this food. No, you realize that that no, no, God gave me this food. That's a spiritual minded person. Amen. When you get in your car, you crank up your car. And you realize that it was God who gave me this car. Amen. You realize that everything that I have, it was a, it was a, a result of me being in tune with God. That's a spiritually minded person. When you look at your husband, and you look at your wife, and you look at your children, you say, God gave me this baby to be a good steward over. That's a spirit. So if you realize that God gave it to you, you will never abuse it. Come on, somebody. 
that's a spiritually minded person. If you don't realize that, that wife that you have, that's a child of God. That, that no matter what problem she has, no matter what problem he has, amen, he is a yes. child of God, amen, and I have to treat him as a child of God. I have to treat her like a child of God. I can't put my mouth on them. They belong to God. That's a spiritually minded person. You got it? Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. If you're here today, if you're here today, you want to be born again. Today is the day of salvation. Jesus said, the day you hear my voice, heart not your heart.